Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a tutorial on the Selena Gomez Come and Get It music video. And it is my first video, so thumbs up for that. And if you want to see how I get this look, just keep watching. First I'm going to apply Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I'm going to use my Sedona Lace BB11 and apply that all over my lid. Um, from the lid all the way up to the brow bone and that's going to act as a base for our eyeshadow to help the color last all day long and not crease and not fade. Next I'm going to be taking Cork Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm going to apply that to my crease with my Sigma, Sigma E25 blending brush. And next I'm going to take my uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold and we're going to use that same EB11 brush and we're going to apply that just on the lid. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I'm going to take Honey Pot and I'm going to apply that on my lid with my Sigma E55 uh, shading brush. Then I'm going to take that um, blending brush again from Sigma and go into Cocoa Puff. And I'm going to blend that in my crease also going slightly below where we placed the cork. And we're going to uh, make a V shape on the outer edge of our eye with that Cocoa Puff color. Then I'm going to take my new Tude palette by The Bomb and I'm going to take Sirius which is a matte black color and I'm going to be using my Sigma pencil brush and we're going to place that on the outer V of our eye. Then I'm going to take the E25 brush again by Sigma and I'm just going to blend everything out. more blending and I'm going back in with the black just in case any of that um, depth was lost when we blended it out and just adding a little bit more to intensify the color. And of course we're going to blend again, blend, blend, blend.
Then I'm gonna take my pencil brush, I did wipe it off. I'm gonna go into Cocoa Puff and I'm gonna place that on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take my E70 from Sigma and I'm going to go into Rice Paper by MAC and I'm going to place that on my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to take my Milani Liquify Eye Pencil and what I'm going to do is line my upper uh, waterline which is also called tight lining. And if this is your first time doing this, this can feel, feel a little weird. Um, it still feels weird to me sometimes, as you can probably see right there. And then we're going to also line our um, lower waterline going all the way into the inner corner as well. Then I'm going to go back into that palette and take Sexpresso with my um, EB23 angled brush from uh, Sedona Lace and we're going to smudge out the, um, the eyeliner that we put on the waterline. And then I'm going to take Cork by MAC and take our trusty um, pencil brush again from Sigma. And we're going to smudge that out again just to diffuse that color and make it look uh, softer and not as harsh of a line. And I'm going to take uh, Silk Teddy from the same uh, natural eye palette from Too Faced and we're gonna put that in the inner corner of our eye just to brighten that area. And what you see there is uh, fluid, Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. I put it in a different container. Um, but I'm gonna take that on this scent liner brush from Sedona Lace and I'm going to uh, line my upper lash line. And you do want to make sure we wing this out on the outer corner. It's like really dramatic because I can see from the video that's what she had. Um, and you'll be able to see a little bit better right there. And we're going to do the same on the other eye, of course. I'm going to take the Balm uh, What's Your Type Mascara and we're just going to apply a light coat of mascara because we are applying false lashes. bottom lash mascara in black and put that on our bottom lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be using are from Ardell. They're the 120 Death and I put them on off camera. So those are the finished eyes as you can see. Um, just use what you have. I know I used a couple different palettes and single eyeshadows but if you have similar colors of course use what you have. And then we're going to move on to the face. This part was out of focus. I apologize. This is my second time filming it. I'm just learning this camera. So 
Um, the brush I'm using there is an FO5 small contour and I took the sleek um, contour kit in medium and contoured with that and then I'm blending that out with the FB03 from Sedona Lace. And then I'm going to take my Bourjois Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with that same brush and we're going to bronze our face. So we're going to go under the cheekbone where we contoured on the uh, temple and also under the jawline. So like a three. Then I'm going to take Max, uh, oh, I dropped it. I'm going to take Max Melba blush uh, with my uh, Sigma, what is this? F, F40. And I'm going to find my blush. And then I'm going to take the um, Extra Dimension Dimension Skin Finish from MAC. This was limited edition. The color is superb. And I'm going to highlight with my uh, Sedona Lace Fan Brush the top of my cheekbones, on um, my cupid's bow, and down the center of my nose. Because she did have a very glowy look in the video. And next is lips. I'm going to use uh, actually three lip tars. I'm showing two here. It's uh, NSFW is the red color, and then I'm using the clear color, which actually works as a base, and you put it on top as well. And that orange color I'm mixing in is called Beta, because her lips had a more of an orange undertone. So. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs up so I can do more tutorials like this. And please support me and subscribe to my channel. This is my first video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Kisses. Thanks for watching.